Today is International Overdose Awareness Day. It's a day dedicated to end drug overdose and remember those who died and put a stop to the stigma surrounding drug overdoses. One event recognizing the international effort today was in Warren tonight. Our Marissa Thomas was there. So Marissa, what was this event all about tonight? Good evening, Mike and Emily. Tonight there was a balloon release to remember those who have died from overdose within the community, along with the resources for community to learn more and be more aware about overdose. These balloons represent lives lost to drug overdoses. It's an epidemic across the nation and in our own communities. Having people hold those balloons, have a moment of silence, and really just be present and uh, and release maybe that pain or release maybe some of the sadness that goes along with that. Um, I, I just think the visual of it is so empower, empowering to me. Um, and if we can really just touch one life today, I mean, that, that we've, we've made a difference. It's a beautiful way to remember lives lost, but this event is also to try to prevent more deaths. So our primary purpose while we're here, we hand out a lot of Narcan. It's uh, a form of harm reduction in our area. We, well, in every area, right? But it's, we hand it out to people who are in the community because a person who is a substance user can't use it on themselves. So we need to get it out to the masses of people who are able to use it on people who are suffering from an overdose. Recovery specialist Noah Sharp says the day is also about bringing the community closer and helping people to understand more about addiction. Ending the stigma that surrounds substance use disorder is really important to us because we can't help each other if nobody's willing to reach out to help. So a lot of our events are really focused on the fact that if we can bring the community together with people who have a substance use disorder, then we allow them to finally have that opportunity because otherwise they just don't understand and they don't want to reach out, but we try to bring them to a point where they're able to do that. Family Services is also committed to putting money back into the community to provide multiple events for those in recovery, those who care about someone in recovery, and those who have just been touched by it. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.